Hey everyone, M1 Shadow here. Today I've got a really awesome recipe for you. It's going to be beer barbecue chicken. What I've got over here is some chicken thighs. And let's start off with our marinade. The first thing we're going to do is start off with about maybe half a beer. I'm using butt ice uh, just because it's probably one of my favorite beers. And of course I'll drink the rest of that. <laughs> but uh, So we're going to start off with some beer. Next we're going to throw in some hot sauce. And uh, yeah, this is definitely something uh, original, but I'm telling you, you're going to like it. I've got some teriyaki sauce over here. And some Worcestershire. There's a billion ways people could call that. Now we've got some garlic powder. Some black pepper. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stir this up. We're now going to pour our marinade into a plastic plastic Ziploc bag. And we're now going to throw our chicken in there. We're now going to close this up. Get it mixed in all well and then put it in the refrigerator and we're going to let it marinate overnight and then we're going to move on to the next step. So at this point these have been marinating for 24 hours. I took them out and put them on a plate. Uh, now we're going to hit them with some seasoning. What I've got is some grill meat, smokehouse maple. This is really good stuff. And what we want to do is get a good layer on each side and pat it in. Then we want to flip them over and we're going to do the same thing on this side. These are now ready for the preheated grill. So now we're going to put these on our preheated grill. Uh, yes, that is a pork chop on here. Uh, I might do a video on that uh, next, but I'm just doing a pork chop along with the uh, barbecue when it's not part of this video. What we're going to do now is cover this and let them char for about five minutes and then we'll come back and flip them over. So here we are about five minutes later and we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip these. We're going to cover them and let them char for another five minutes. So now one of the secrets of this recipe, uh, after it charred on the other side I put it on some aluminum foil and we're going to pour some barbecue sauce on here. I do want to point out that the aluminum foil has olive oil on it to prevent sticking. And let's go ahead and base this barbecue sauce on here, which if you want, I have a really good recipe for some amazing homemade barbecue sauce. I'm going to put a link in the description. You now want to cover this up. I'm going to cover it. Move this to about uh, maybe three quarters to half a turn. Now we're going to let it slow cook like that for about an hour. So here we are about an hour later and we're going to go ahead and turn these over and these are just so juicy and tender right now. And uh, you're really going to love this recipe. We're going to pour some more barbecue sauce on these. I'm going to spread around that barbecue sauce. Now I'm going to cover these again. And we're going to let it sit like this for about another uh, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, and then we're going to be all set. And there you have it. Our beer barbecue chicken is done. This is absolutely amazingly good. You really have to try this. As always, I do want to thank you all for watching and have a good one.